Hi friends, hope you are all doing great putting a lot of efforts. I am back with the last 90 days to CAT series and we are talking about installments today. In the last few parts, we've talked about number as sum of perfect squares and difference of perfect squares. And we've also solved some really interesting DILR uh, questions like the coin picking puzzle, the set theory, maxima minima and four set Venn diagram. Very, very important for CAT. The interests and installments. The concept behind is time value of money. So what is time value of money? 100 rupees today and 100 rupees tomorrow, which is more valuable. 100 rupees today is more valuable. Why? Because this amount has a capacity of earning, has a capacity of generating potential returns. Let's say you borrowed P amount for let's say N years. Let's say the market prevalent rate is R%. percent. What you have to do is you have to return N equal installments of X rupees. So what is the maths here? The maths here is very simple. You have taken P and let's say you invest this amount at, you know, market rate of R percent. And similarly, the person who is getting these installments is also investing those installments in the market at R percent only. Both these returns should be equal in an equilibrium scenario. We will see this in specific cases. Let's have a look at simple interest. In simple interest, you know that interest is given as principal into rate into time upon 100. Let's say you've borrowed a principal of P for N years and the market prevalent rate is R%. percent. So let's say you invested this amount after you borrowed at R% percent for N years. The amount that you have at the end of N years will be your principal plus principal into rate into time upon 100. Also, what you are doing is you are paying equal installment of X rupees at the end of every year. The first installment that you pay at the end of first year, this person who gets the installment also puts it into the market at the rate of R percent. Okay. Now this person for the first installment, he invests X rupees. Okay. So his amount at the end of N years will be X plus X which is principal into rate into time upon 100. Why is time n minus 1? Think about it. The total period is n years. You've paid the first installment at the end of first year. So first year is gone. So what period is now remaining? The period now remaining is n minus 1. Similarly, you will pay the second installment at the end of second year. So then the second installment will gain interest for n minus 2 years. So for your second installment, the amount will be x plus x into r into n minus 2 upon 100. When you will keep adding all these small amounts, these amounts must be equal. So if you will solve this part, you will have these x how many times? n times because you are paying n installments. And this interest part, if you will see, you put you take x into r upon 100 comma. And then if you will add, you have n minus 1 here, you have n minus 2 here, going on till 1 which is sum of all natural numbers till n minus 1. Sum of all natural numbers till n minus 1 will be n minus 1 into n upon 2. We can also write this as nc2, absolute basics of p and c. Now, this is the same amount as this. So if you take this as an amount, then you can find out x, which is equal to amount upon n plus nc2 into r upon 100. So this is a shortcut formula that you can use for finding out the installment value. Let's try and utilize this. Let's try and use this formula in a question. In the last encounter with Jiraya, Itachi's robe was damaged and had to be replaced. Itachi must pay for the Akatsuki robe, which is worth 3200 or 800 down payment, followed by four monthly equal installments. Now, here we are talking about monthly installments. That is one. Second, we are talking about down payment. The amount is 3200. The principal would have been 3200, but you've paid 800. So effectively your principal becomes 2400 only. So amount here will be 2400 plus 2400, the principal and the interest will be 2400 into rate, which is 25%. Now 25% is the annual rate. Monthly rate will be 25 upon 12 into the number of, which is the period, which is four months upon 100. So now if you just quickly solve this, this becomes 2 times. So this becomes 4 into 2 is 8. 25 into 8 is 200. So this becomes 2600. 
So the amount which is A in this formula is 2600. Quickly let's find out the remaining. So this becomes the installment value will be 2600 upon N which is 4 in this case. 4 equal monthly installments. 4C2 is 6 into R upon 100. So what is R? R is 25.12 because we are talking about monthly installments here. 2 times this becomes 4 times. So this becomes 2600 divided by this is 1 by 8. 1 by 8 is 0 0.12. So this becomes 4.12. Now 2600 now this becomes 1.03. You divide this this becomes 650. This is 1.03. You can write this as 1 plus 0 0.03. How to quickly solve this? Let's see. You can write this as 650 into 1 plus 0 0.03 to the power minus 1. Now since this is very very small, you can take this minus 1 and multiply it here. So if you multiply it, this becomes 1 minus 0 0.03. So what is 0 0.03 times 650? Approximately 20. So this becomes 630. The value of equal monthly installment in this case is 630 rupees. Installments in case of compound interest. Here also the concept remains the same. Let's say we define 1 plus R upon 100 okay, as your compounding multiplier. Let's say you have 100 rupees and you are gaining 10% compound interest on this. So the next year your money will become 110. You get let's say 1.1 times again. Next year also you get 10% compound interest. Your money becomes 110 into 1.1 which is 121. So in 2 years your money becomes 100 into this multiplier raised to the power 2. Right? Let's say you took principal P. The market prevalent rate is a R%. Percent. You invested this money at R% percent for n years. So your amount will become principal into 1 plus R upon 100 which is basically principal into the multiplier raised to the power n. Now you paid the first installment at the end of first year. Now this person who got this installment also invested this amount in the market at R% percent rate compounded annually. Now what happens? This installment is going to you know give him x into 1 plus r upon 100 which is x into the multiplier raised to the power n minus 1. Why? Because see the period is n years. You have paid this amount only at the end of first year. So then this person can only gain return for n minus 1 years. So x into multiplier to the power n minus 1 plus x into multiplier to the power n minus 2 so on and so forth. So if I call this as amount your shortcut or your installment value is you can you know take this as amount divided by 1 plus multiplier plus multiplier square till multiplier to the power n minus 1. You can see there is a GP here you can use a GP formula. Let's try and apply this in a question. Obsessed with Ichiraku ramen, Naruto buys the ramen shop itself for 61,000 rupees to be paid in three equal annual installments. Now. The interest is compounded annually at rate of 25% Find the amount to be paid. So what is the installment value here? The installment is the principal which is 61,000. The rate is 25% so the multiplier is 1 plus 25 upon 100 which is 1.25 which can also be written as 5 by 4. So this is principal into multiplier raised to the power n which is 3. So 5 by 4 into 5 by 4 into 5 by 4 divided by 1 plus multiplier which is 5 by 4 plus 5 by 4 to the power n minus 1. So it will go till 2. So now this becomes 5 by 4. This becomes 25 upon 16. Take the LCM here. Let's say we take 16. We equate the denominator. So this becomes 16. This becomes 5 into 4 becomes 20 and this is 25. Right. And this 16 crosses 4 and 4. So this becomes 25 plus 20 is 45 plus 16 is 61. So this is 61. This becomes 1000. I have a 4 here. So this becomes 250. Now this is 250 into 5 into 5 into 5 is 125. Now how can I quickly calculate this? This is nothing but if I take a 10 common, this is 5 square and this is 5 cube. So I can write this as 25 into 25 into 5. 25 into 25 is 625. 625 into 5 is, is 3000 plus 125, 3125. And you have a zero here. So 31250. Thank you so much for joining in. You're all fantastic people. God bless you all. Take care.